guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K, and today I am unboxing yarn. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this yarn because I have a project that I want to work on with this yarn, like kind of soon. So I'm so glad it came in when it did. So finally, I have not opened a package of yarn before I filmed. Like, come on, I feel great. So. Here it is. It is from Michaels, as you can see. I don't even remember. I think I got three of each color. I don't remember the other color that I got, but I know I got one that was white. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's get my snips and open up this bad boy. Yes, 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 I love yarn. Oh, uh, oh my, oh my gosh, wait, <laughs> wait. This thing is soft. This thing is so soft and it is smaller than I thought it would be. Hold, hold, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me get it all out so real quick. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love myself. I got beautiful colors. Okay, so I got three whites. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's so pretty. So this yarn is from Michaels Lush Alpaca. It comes at 86 yards, 79 meters, and it is... Four ounces, 113 grams. Oh my gosh. So this is, let me see. Oh my gosh, what? It says, absolutely not. Okay, it says for, are those for knitting needles? Are those for needles? I don't know. It says you can use a nine millimeter or a 10 millimeter hook with this yarn, but from how thin this actually is like it's not thin of course but it's like thin i can definitely use an eight or even a six with this we shall see today i will swatch it for you guys but this is what it looks like it is a i think it's a weight four yarn oh here we go oh okay so yeah, it says 10 millimeter knitting hooks and knitting hooks. Oh my gosh, I'm such a crochet artist. <laughs> <laughs> it says 10 millimeter knitting needles and nine millimeter crochet hook. Absolutely not. This is a six, size six, super bulky. Weight six, not size six, weight six, my bad. So I got white and I got this beautiful soft pink oh my gosh so this is a yarn that i plan to make a vest out of i'm so excited i am making a vest out of these two colors so the white will be the ribbing and then i'll also add it in with the vest with the pink but the pink will be the dominant color the white will probably be like stripes or something but oh my gosh am i forgetting anything else to tell you guys this is super bulky. It honestly doesn't look super bulky. I could be wrong when I start crocheting with it. So I have a size, let me see. So I have a size, well that's not what I'm using. I have a size eight, ah! Uh, I have a size eight millimeter hook right here and also a nine millimeter hook. And I'm gonna pull out a six just in case I can also use a six because yeah, maybe when I start crocheting with this, it will feel bigger, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else for you guys. Oh, wait, I'm forgetting to tell you like what comes with it. Where is it? Where Where does it say what's in it? Because I know what's in it because I saw it online. Ah, here we go. Okay, it is 80% acrylic and 20% alpaca. That alpaca is really coming through. 
because this thing is beautiful and soft. So let's get to swatching. I'm gonna swatch with the pink because why not? Beautiful pink color, hello, yes. So I'm gonna swatch it with a six and show you guys and then I'll swatch it with an eight and show you guys and I'll swatch it with a nine. So let's get to swatching. Here's my size six hook I forgot to show you guys. So let's see what works for me. Just as I predicted, using a size six hook was seamless. Seamless, guys. I literally use my six millimeter hook. You can't, you can barely see the tag on it, but seamless. Like, look at this swatch. Look at this swatch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I did half double crochet, five rows. I love to do that with my swatches because I use half double crochet for like everything. And dude, I am in love. I cannot wait to make a vest with this. This is going to be, oh my gosh, I already see it. The vision, it's there. Oh my gosh. So I, I usually crochet like super tight, but I made sure to like keep my tension, I don't know, normal, I guess, during this and like look at how like tights it's tights look at how tight it still came out like beautiful 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 so i would definitely use a size six hook with this yarn even though it calls for a nine millimeter like absolutely not but i'm still gonna try it with my size eight hook and my nine hook so we can see what it looks like but this is size six keep this in your mind i'm not sure if the stitches will be looser with the bigger hooks usually that's how it goes but we shall see i will admit i did have a little like resistance when i was pulling through like to begin with like during like the foundation chain and stuff like that but other than that i was just like flying through those stitches so let's see how it goes with the other hooks all right guys the swatch with the eight millimeter hook is done and doing it with like crocheting with the eight millimeter hook was nice and smooth okay i was gliding through those stitches and here is what it looks like so the stitches are definitely looser than the size six one but it still looks just as good honestly for any other project i would use a size eight hook to see what it's like but I definitely want to use a size 6 hook for my vest because I want those stitches tight and the 6 was just giving me what it needed to give. Okay, but look, let's look at the 8 again. Nice and beautiful. This yarn is just so pretty. Like, why is this so pretty? Like, the audacity it has to be so pretty. Alright, so now we're going to try with a 9mm and I will show you guys that one. Okay, and we shall see how it is. Now here is the nine millimeter swatch. Super loose, but still looks so freaking good. I know I'm definitely not using this nine millimeter hook though, because I want my stitches to look snatched and super, super pretty and tight and nice. And mm -mm. So yeah, but this is the nine millimeter. I see why they say to use a nine millimeter because it's like super, super, super easy, basic, like 
your stitches won't get stuck on a hook, no resistance or anything, but I don't know. I like a little resistance on my hook because I my stitches are always so tight, okay? And I just, I don't know, that resistance, I'm like, oh yeah, we can make that tighter. Oh, I don't know. But 9mm, definitely not using it. I would either use a 6 or 8. I don't have a 7mm hook. I probably should invest in a 7 Honestly, that would be really nice. Yeah, I might get a 7, use that. I still have like loose enough tension with tight stitches. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. By the time I do this, though, I'm probably going to I'm probably not going to have a 7 mm so I'm definitely using a 6. But one more look at this beautiful swatch with the 9 mm And as you can tell, even with the foundation, like it's looser than the other ones. The other ones were like a little bit like this. But you know what? I will take that over to 9 mm anyway. So yeah, guys, this is the Lush Alpaca by Loops and Threads from Michaels. It's a really nice, super soft yarn. Like this yarn is so soft. Oh my gosh, that alpaca, like I said, is really coming in clutch. Okay. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below if you've ever used this yarn before because I haven't seen many people like talk about it or anything. I like, I only saw it once on Instagram with this, someone was wearing this really nice, like was it a cardigan jacket I don't know sweater it was just really cute and I was just like I have to get this yarn and try it out at least so yeah let me know if you've ever used it if you want to see more videos like this from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because it'll notify you whenever I post another video and I'll see you guys in my next one